Well, good morning. It's a beautiful day to be out on the water. Started the morning off with a nice trout here. We're gonna let him go. See ya, buddy. And so, uh, yeah, we're out here fishing, man. It is about springtime, the beginning of spring here in Tampa Bay. So today I'm after pretty much anything willing to bite, man. It's just a good day to be out here on the kayak here in Tampa Bay, Florida. I'm looking for spotted sea trout like we just caught. Caught him on about a three inch paddle tail, pearl white, just jigging it on the bottom. Of course, we're chasing after redfish and snook, but so far this morning, um, no bites on the top water. So I'm just kind of trolling around looking for some good spots to, to cast. Maybe I can see some tails. The water is dropping right now. And so, you know, hopefully we'll start moving up and maybe we can see some backs or some tails or some fish feeding, some fish popping. And um, yeah, sight, do a little sight casting if we can. But honestly, if not, I just want to be on the water today and catch some fish. So landed that sea trout, he's about 14 and a half. They have to be above 15 and between 19 at least here in my local area and you can i believe you can possess one over 19 inches but yeah man we're about to um get back to it let's go fishing man thanks for watching this video oh there we go there we go nice trout right there <laughs> Sweet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice trout right there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> gotcha oh got a little sheepy hey that's cool <laughs> that is funny i never caught well maybe i have i don't know but at least in recent times i can't remember catching a sheep's head on a white soft plastic weedless like this got a little sheepy <laughs> on the soft plastic there about to let this guy go way too small <laughs> So what I'm doing here is just trying to get a decent cast in and cover water. I was catching a lot of trout to the left of these little pilings here, um, but I decided to go right between them and just kind of bounce it, you know, just give it that nice, the trout really like it when you give it that nice pop, that nice jig, and they'll come up from the bottom and just kind of follow it. And here in a few moments, we'll get that hook set. And that's pretty much my technique for trying to land trout. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice little trout there. Okay, he might be 15. Oh, almost fell. Oh, 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 ah! Looks like the pearl white's doing it today on the trout. At some point, we need to get on some reds and some snook today. I had to switch to a jig because I ran out of, um, I ran out of weedless with the the right size weights. I have weedless that have no weight on them, but that's not what I normally use. I don't even know why. I think I put that in my tackle box as like a super spare if I, you know, if all else fails. But I need to get some more weighted weedless hooks. I could hear trout kind of hitting at the top a little bit. Ooh, there we go. That was a nice hook set. What's up, bud? Now I know you're not 15. So we're gonna go ahead and release you, bud. Thanks. <laughs> Man, my pants are getting so uh, slimy. I'm not mad about it. Oh. oh, that's a good one right there. I think he's like underneath. What is that, a jack maybe? Can't tell. Could be like a side hooked. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh no. Look at that. 
Sweet. Except it's side hooked. Oh man. Jeez. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Oh, I missed it. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, bud. Oh, there's a nice little trout. See you, buddy. Oh, there we go. There's a trout. I need these guys to be over 15 though. They're coming in at like 12, 14, everywhere in between. Come on, buddy. Where are your friends that are bigger? That's what we need. That's what we need. Let's try it out in that slick. Maybe in the slick, they're a little bigger trying to be slick there we go tiny another tiny one. Oh, he came off okay there we go that was lighter a lighter rip man this would be a ton of fun to bring my kids out here. There's a lot of spots like this in Tampa Bay where, that's not 15, is it? There's a lot of spots where you just find a hole and, um, no, 13 and a half. You just find a deep hole and you just jig. If your red fishing isn't working out or your snook fishing isn't working out, I really should be up in the mangroves right now, but this is just too much fun. Then you just go find a deep hole. Look for like an opening, like where a channel goes out into like a circle or a hole and kind of just dead ends or something. And you'll find, you'll find your trout there. Four feet of water, something like that. Plus, okay, here we go. Are you on there or what? No? Dancing with my line. It's a tiny one. Hey, 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 hey. Tangling up, bud. There we go. So you can see there's kind of like this slick here. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but it's like a little bit wavy, a little bit wavy, and then kind of this you can see a different color of water. It's like slick within the calm. And, um, oh, I think I missed the school. I think it's more over there. Uh, you can, you can see that difference. Now, I don't know, you know, other fishermen might disagree, but anytime I fish those slicks, I feel like I hook up better. It just could be like a mental thing or it could be an actual, some sort of actual thing. There we go. But whenever there's that difference, I feel like I do okay. Oh, jeez, he came undone. Almost popped me in the face. I think something's going on in my lure here. Oh, there's one. Hey, little bud. How big are you? Oh, you might be. You might be 15. Let's go. Let's go, let's see. Ow! He kinda bit me. Let's get you down here, Mr. Flippy. All right, that's definitely 15. That's a 15 right there, so we're gonna keep this guy. Oh yeah.
Oh. <laughs> wow. That thing smacked it. <laughs> hey, buddy. Woo. There we go. We got a beautiful snook on the top water. Man, it's been a hard bite for a snook today. I've been tossing the top water and it's been like no takers. But after getting on those trout, we were able to get on little snooky right there. We gotta keep at it, man. I probably got another few hours on the water, so we're gonna keep tossing this top water. And just to note, I mean, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, the sun's fully out, and this guy smashed the bone-colored Super Spook Junior. So I still like throwing top water at all hours of the day. It doesn't matter to me. Let's get some more fish if we can. Oh. Got a fish on. Didn't get the uh, cast and hook set on video. There we go. Should have a nice trout right there. Ooh, that's a nice trout. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's probably a keeper. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Where'd you come from? <laughs> I barely felt this guy on my line. All right. Hey. Baby manatee. What's going on? Well guys, that's pretty much it. So today was pretty much a trout day. Trout and one one snook. Saw some reds, but again, they weren't really hungry. They weren't wanting to snack. Look at this water. Absolutely beautiful. Man, if you're not getting out on the water, you definitely should. My GoPro just died. Um, if you're in Tampa Bay, Florida, let's see. I mean, the weather is beautiful right now. It's about mid-April. Still woke up. It's like it was like 65 degrees this morning. So we still got good weather. It's gonna start getting a little bit windy and then we're gonna start to move into that tarpon season. So here in a bit, a lot of my videos might be trying to chase tarpon. I mean, I've been doing that for, I don't know, four seasons now, still haven't landed one. Hooked up with a, good, a decent amount of them, but haven't been able to land them. And so over the years, I've been starting to get like the perfect formula together, the right spot, the right time of year. And so I feel like I've, I'm finally starting to get there. I've got the tackle down. None of my tackle has broken in, you know, hooking a tarpon and it jumping around. So I feel like that's decent. We just got to get it landed onto, you know, next to the kayak so we can get that picture and have that experience. So man, if you're in Tampa Bay, Florida, or if you're watching this video, get out there and fish. I've been fishing this area for a long time. And even today I went and found a little crevice I've never explored before. Um, there were some reds in there, but they weren't interested in eating anything at all. So <laughs> it is what it is. Appreciate you guys watching this video. And I hope you guys are enjoying my bus content, man. I'm building out my Yak Tribe kayak shop, or should I say our Yak Tribe kayak shop. I mean, that thing's coming along. I'm waiting on some permits and some reseller tax ID stuff, but that thing's gonna be pretty much up and running. So I appreciate you guys following that journey and just showing love and support. Well, hey guys, I appreciate you watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one.